My next guest, a very beautiful actress, she's on uh, the show One Tree Hill. Oh. <laughs> it's final season. Oh. <laughs> Premieres tonight. Ah. <laughs> on the CW. <laughs> 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 I couldn't have planned that better. Uh, please welcome the very, very lovely, sexy, gorgeous Sophia Bush, everybody. <laughs> Sophia Bush. You look great. Thanks. You look great. Really, vavoom. How are you? You know, I'm uh, a little less gay than I was during the last segment, actually. Oh, well, hey. Well, things are moving around. Love all the people, that's what I say. Uh, me too. You have lovely hair. Thank you. You're really nice. It's like, did you ever think of doing a shampoo commercial? You should think about it. Uh, you know, I didn't. I've, I've never I've never thought about it. Well, perhaps you'd like to think of it. It's the last season of One Tree Hill. Maybe shampoo could... commercials is the way that to go. That could be my next gig. Your hair does yeah. look very luscious. And... Well, thank you. Yeah, no, it's you know, I am I am unemployed now, so. Really? Hey, why not? I don't think you're really unemployed, are you? It's just that you're an actress. You go, you do one yeah. job, it stops, you start another job, you know. It's... Yeah, but I've had a job for the past nine years, and now I'm... Hanging out. It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I got up this morning, I made a cup of coffee, I answered emails, yeah, sat yeah. in the kitchen with the dogs. Yeah, that, the, the, the lure of that will wear off after yeah. a little while, I think. Probably. No, you got to get back to work. Get back to work. What do you think? Yeah, theater? A little bit of theater, perhaps? Maybe. That's um, I started, I would do that. Yeah. What about something really dark, like some kind of Russian drama? Sure. Right. A little Chekhov? Chekhov. Was he Chekhov? I think thought he was writing comedies. Yeah, no. He used yeah. to say that the translators took out all the jokes. Maybe. Yeah. Mad old drunk that he was. I, uh, have you ever done any Shakespeare? A little bit. In high school, I did, I did quite a bit of theatre. Did you really? Yeah, and I went to an all-girls school, so it was ah. kind of fun because we played all the girls' parts and all the boys' parts. I, I very often played a man <laughs> in high school theatre. I'll, I'll let you go as long as you want on really? this one. I didn't say played with all the boys. No, no, I didn't. No, no. You went to an all-girls school, really? Yeah. How was that? We wore uniforms. Did you wear a uniform? Mm. Do you still have your uniform? I sure do. <laughs> In a box somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very creepy old man. I... You're not that. So old. what are you gonna what are you gonna do then? I mean, do you wanna direct something? Well, I've been directing for the last three years. Right, you've that's... been directing the show, right? Yeah, that's right. something I I really would like to continue, and I've been thinking about. Potentially, I, I work with a lot of nonprofits, so I've been thinking about maybe going to one of the countries in the developing world that I've been traveling to and, and potentially shooting, you know, maybe a mini documentary or something. Why a mini documentary? Do a full size one. And maybe I could. I feel like, you know, start small, see, get your feet wet, see how it goes. And by the way, me, I, I, when I have a camera, I never put it down. So I would probably come home with enough footage to make three documentaries. Well, I think that's what you should do then. Which country do you feel like going to? Well, I was just in Laos on a trip with Pencils of Promise, visiting schools that they've built there. Pencils of Promise? Pencils of Promise, yeah. Is that a folk group? No. Okay. It's a non-profit. Non-profit organization. Well, we could. I mean, we could make music with pencils. And you kids. take pencils into uh, pencil-deprived areas? And, yes. Um... Well, first, first we build the schools. Ah, the now there you are. Now there you got something. And then we give. Thinking, well, yeah. Look, everybody, pencils. And be like, oh, what's that coming to go? <laughs> but you, so, you actually build a yes, school. We build oh the schools, then we pass out the pencils, and um, right. and I'm I'm also working with a great charity right now uh, called Crikey. Cancer. So now we've both dropped the f bomb, and we're both going to get bleeped. <laughs> and uh, and and I'm Do raising you money for them. Someone so. so beautiful, so could be so profane, so offensive. <laughs> Really? That's yeah. a, that, so that's an anti-cancer? I don't think yeah. there are many pro-cancer organizations. I don't think so. I don't think most people like it. No, no, uh, no. Bad but, business. But we're, we're really working on just kicking its ass. You're going to need a couple of doctors for that, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, there you are. That's nice. Yeah, we've got Where did you make the One Tree Hill again? In North Carolina. Yeah, so are you going to... That's why I wasn't here more often. Yeah, no, no. Now I'm home. I'll come over all the time. Yeah, anytime you like. <laughs> I get rid of the robots. Help yourself. You can have the podium. I'm coming for you, Jeff. Oh, Mama. <laughs> oh, Mama? <laughs> I am so not gay anymore. Oh, <laughs> you can't move that kind of thing around just willy... Well, never mind. Maybe. What? Maybe. Maybe you could, yeah. Did you ever have any uh, experiences? 
Yeah. Any experiences? No, but I've kissed a lot of women on screen. I'm, God, that's cruel. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What, on One Tree Hill? No. Because I'm like, really? No, not there. I, I should watch that more. No, not there, but, but I, I, I got to make out with Kate Mara on Nip Tuck, which was fun because she's really beautiful. Yeah. And then I got to kiss my girlfriend, Brittany, uh, when we did this movie called John Tucker Must Die together. Yeah. And the, it's weird because when we're out together, a lot of people are like, we can just kiss each other again. And I'm like, really? Are we still? Like, what's going on here? Like, I don't think men grow out of that. No, we don't. No. Well, you see, what it is is the, the allure and the, the mystery of, you know, uh, lesbian sex for men is this. It's right. like girls who are sexually aroused without another dude in there wasting it for you. That's what heterosexual uh -huh. men think. So when you see two women, like, you know, making out, it's like, right. oh, look, they're kissing and there's no guy involved. That, I could be it's the like one to help them out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I could get in there and, you know, man it up for everybody. Right. Forgetting, yeah. of course, conveniently, that if, if this is a genuine lesbian encounter, then the they're two women, interested. they're like, why, why do, right. get away from us. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that would, would bum guys out more than anything, because you know your chances are sort of shot. But I guess that's why it's the fantasy. We don't live in the your... real world. Oh, I know. We don't. Yeah. yeah. So you're, gonna, you're moving back to L.A. then? That's yeah, it. I'm back. I'm home. I'm unpacking boxes. Really? Like, boxes like, of what? Like, stuff. Clothes, shoes, books. Do you still have uh, firearms? Do you have your guns? Yes, I do. All right. Do you yeah. have a concealed uh, weapons permit for California? Well, it's no. My I got my permit in North Carolina, so yeah, it's valid in, in 32 states, but not here. Yeah, California is a tough one. So you have to prove uh, mental competency. I don't have one either. Uh, I don't know if I could prove that I'm mentally competent, but I could certainly prove that some of the people who send me very frightening letters, yeah. you know, signed in their own blood, are mentally incompetent, and that I should be able to camp. Don't say that. Them. You vile. Them up. They'll be watching. Sorry. You know, they're like, oh, I'm gonna need more ink. Enthusiastic. <laughs> Enthusiastic. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's a worry. Well, listen, we're out of time. So, uh, what do you fancy? Mouth organ, awkward pause, uh, freeze frame, high five, or um, big cash I, prize? I'm gonna go big cash prize because I can donate it to my to my fundraiser right now. If I win, so yeah, if you if win, I, the, I mean, uh, I don't if like. If I get the question nah, wrong, no, 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 then you're screwed, kind of, and you no, should give us the money emotional anyway. Emotional blackmail, right there, you see, because you said, oh, you I just, can give it to a non-profit, and I'm like, oh, well, look, you know why? Why you just take rocket money now, <laughs> Sophia? Well, just, just take ask, it, take it, you know. Ask me the question. Do you want it? Yes. You win. So be a everyone. <laughs>